Okay, all right, so homework number 67 for Wednesday, February 8th. All right, now, it was still doing unit rate. The questions looks a little different. Again, you guys know how to calculate unit rate, but you need to practice. But more, what's more important is that for these questions, I want you to know how to use Delta Math, okay, so that you don't get stuck spending 15 minutes trying to figure out how to put the answers in. That's probably more important for you right now, okay? All right, so let's see. A grocery store sells seven bags of oranges for two ninety four. What does one orange cost? Now, on the double number line below, so there's this is a double number line. So dollars up top, right, represented by that number line, and the second number line represents the number of oranges. Okay, so double line fill in the given values using multiplication, division, find. No, we're gonna set a uh, proportion, a unit rate proportion. Okay. So that's, this is exactly how I want you to do it. We'll do two of these. Okay, now for the first one, seven oranges. So I'll put seven down here, even though technically the seven should go here because this is further down the number line, right? So let's do that. I don't want to get it wrong. So seven oranges is 294 like this. You see that? All right, you see what I'm doing here? Now I need to know how much per orange. Right, okay, so now let me set up a proportion by getting the pen. So here, what are we doing in dollars per orange, right? Dollars per orange. Okay, so let's see, 294 for seven oranges. How many for one orange? How much for one orange? Cross multiply, divide, let me grab my calculator. So one times 2.94 is 2.94. Make sure you check what you put into your calculator. Sometimes your input might be incorrect instead of the actual math. Divided by 7 times x, 7x, divided by 7. So in other words, right, if you do this, cross multiply, 7x gives you 2.94. Divide both sides by 7. That's what I'm doing now. Enter 0 0.42. Well, now, what is that? 0 0.42 what? Yeah, it's 0 0.42. So it's 42 cents per orange. Okay, so that's what we're looking at here. So let's see. So that would be 0 0.42 for one orange. So that's 0 0.42. By the way, uh, Delta Math is really picky. If you just, let's say the answer was 40 cents instead. If you write 0 0.4, they're going to give you a hard time. They want you to write 0 0.40. Okay, so just, you know, giving you a heads up. Now, the answer is actually 0 0.42. Just cross, I hope I'm right. And that's it. Okay, all right, let's do one more. Now, let's see. Hannah reads eight books in four months. Oh my god. All right. If she reads at a constant rate, how many books are there? First clue. How many books does she read each month? So it's per month. Books per month. Okay. Got it. All right, now let's see. Eight books in four months. How many books in one month? All right, give your answer as a whole number as a fraction in the simplest form. Okay, all right, they don't want decimals. All right, so hold on. All right, so, okay, by the way, uh, I paused for a reason, um, for a second, because Miss Sterless, who goes to a lot of Islanders games, she just gave me a bobblehead. All right, so that's from this year, actually. This is their 50th anniversary. What are the, I didn't even plan that, okay? What are the chances? Okay, all right. Very interesting, uh, very interesting video. Okay, all right, anyways, now, cross, multiply, and divide. Okay, all right, that was another announcement. So let's see, so 4x equals 8. The answer is going to be a whole number, all right, because x equals 2. 2 what, though? Yeah, 2 books per, 2 books per month. Okay, part of my handwriting. I'm trying to get this done ASAP so I could move on and do other things. Okay. All right. I think we've done two. So, okay. All right. I'm going to sign off here. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. All right. See you tomorrow for Thursday. Okay. Bye now. OMG. That was so good.